The big story this morning, dangerous spring storms, a powerful system that produced tornadoes, hail and heavy rain across the nation's midsection is moving east. NBC's Joe Fryer is in Love Lady, Texas, north of Houston. Joe, good morning. In the meantime, Dylan is here. Looks like it's going to be another rough day of weather here on the East Coast. Uh, it certainly is. You know, this is a fast-moving storm system that's already produced tornadoes, flooding rain, even snow. It hit, is going to hit new parts of the south overnight, and it will continue to affect the East Coast as it heads this way. I was here, and now you said to me on Friday, the people in this area of the country, Arkansas, that part of the country, going to be in for a bad weekend. Yeah, we, we could see it setting up, and unfortunately, it has come true, and it, this is going to be a, a long-lived system. Yeah, and this is our top story this morning, of course, devastating storms. They've impacted at least 17 states so far. That's right. The hardest-hit areas in Arkansas, just north of Little Rock, where the most powerful tornado of the year touched down. So a state of emergency has been declared in four counties there, and the National Guard has now been activated. We want to get right to our breaking news yeah, this morning. Yeah, they're covering that story, no question. It is the one of the worst severe weather outbreaks of the year. 106 tornado reports, that's since Sunday alone, including at least 58 in the past 24 hours. In all, at least 28 people have died. 11 died overnight, and the threat is not over. Right now, tornado watches are posted in at least six states. Al and Dylan have it covered. Dylan's in hard-hit Mississippi. But let's begin with Al. He's in Kimberly, Alabama. That's 20 miles north of Birmingham. Al, good morning to you. Another day, another story that's right up your alley. We've got more severe weather to talk about. Yeah, and we've pivoted from the severe weather, because that's still an issue, to the flooding. There's massive flooding going on right now in the Florida panhandle from the Alabama-Florida border all the way to just outside Pensacola, massive flooding. And, in fact, let's go. We've got video from I-10 in Florida uh, where there are literally hundreds of cars stranded on I-10 right now. Vivid lightning. We're seeing upwards of 5,000 lightning strikes per hour. Uh, folks are stranded there. There is reports of standing, rushing water across I-10 with no relief in sight. They will not be able to get out anytime soon. Wilson, North Carolina, there have been uh, really strong rescues going on right now because people have been trapped in trees and homes. The same thing going on in Pensacola. Uh, you can see right now, look at this, standing water, big problems. Wilson, North Carolina, they have been dealing with this. Folks have been rescued from trees, from their homes. There are also high water rescues going on in homes right now in Escambia County in the panhandle of Florida. Look at some of these rainfall totals. Pensacola, 15 inches, 14 inches of rain. Panama City, they've got heavy rain going on right now, upwards of five inches of rain, and it's going to continue. We want to start with our top story, and it's this weather, another round of severe weather rolling across parts of the South and the Midwest today. Let's get right to NBC's Gabe Gutierrez. He's in Dallas this morning where people are cleaning up. Gabe, good morning. Deadly and destructive, the tornadoes hit with a vengeance. This morning, rescue workers are continuing to dig through the debris, trying to find people still trapped. Cutting a path nearly 80 miles long and half a mile wide, the twister flattened homes and buildings, many completely gone. We're talking about another major story this morning, severe storms that are impacting millions of people all across the country. We've got everything from tornadoes in the Midwest to heavy snow in Colorado. NBC's Dylan Dreyer is in Denver, and Dylan thought she was out of the snow for the year. Not so fast. <laughs> Brought that coat back. <laughs> yeah, not, not so fast at all. You remember this whole getup, right? <laughs> Just when you thought you could pack away the winter clothes for good, Parts of the Rockies hit hard by a snowstorm, but a little further east, still part of the same storm system, some areas were hit hard by tornadoes. We want to get to today's top story. It's those intense storms wreaking havoc on the Midwest, and now they're on the move now this morning. They absolutely are. In fact, check out this video just out from Chicago. Uh, really amazing lightning storms going on. Uh, high winds, a lot of rain, a real mess. And in fact, some amazing lightning pictures from, t uh, from uh, Twitter showing just what it looked like over Chicago last night. I mean, just a, an incredible, vivid lightning storm uh, really cracking over over the skies, across the lake, a real mess. Now let's show you, that's <laughs> unbelievable.